Around $3,000 per month is where many working music producers get stuck and hit their first big plateau. And there's nothing more frustrating than everyone thinking that you're doing well, but behind the scenes, you feel the opposite. So in this video, I'm going to use a real life example to show you how we fix this. Pay close attention to what we did, and at the end, I'll reveal the final results. So first, let's answer the question, why do producers get stuck at $3,000 per month? Here's what typically ends up happening. I was overworked, completely overworked, and underpaid, for sure. So I was doing like 12 hour days, six days a week. That was Ahmad. He's a talented pop producer that we work with here at Dark Label, and he'll be the example that we use in this video. Like many producers, Ahmad was able to combine his talent with brute force to at least get his production business up and running to the point where he was busy. But the lack of control, stability, and time was eating his business from the inside out. On the surface, everything looked fine. He was building connections in the industry, had a great sounding portfolio, and was a full-time working producer. Everyone was patting him on the back. Until one day when Ahmad reached a breaking point. First of all, yes, the pain was great. Like I felt like I have been doing this for a while now and the results weren't there in terms of how much I was working and how much money I was making. So I knew that something had to change. Like clearly what I was doing was wrong. That right there was step one. And it's the only step of this process that I can't do for you. Despite feeling stuck and not having a lot of extra resources, Ahmad made the decision that no matter what, he was going to figure out a way to get help solving this problem. But there are four more steps that I have to share. So let's move on to the next one. Step two was helping Ahmad maximize his current opportunities and get out of the day-to-day -day hustle because when you're in constant fight or flight, it's hard to even think correctly about your business long-term. I had Ahmad make a list of all of his past clients, and then we presented them with a new retainer model that allowed Ahmad to increase his rates and deliver a better experience, but also made it easier for his clients to keep working with him long-term. And the clients that I'm working with are the same ones that I used to work with before. And they've even noticed an increase in value as I have more time for them. You know, as I charge more, it means that I have more time to spend on the song. So even the quality of the songs have improved. Now, this wasn't a fit for all of his past clients, but when I reveal the results at the end of this video, you'll see why that wasn't a problem. Step three was all about getting creative and identifying other ways to generate income and open up even more time for Ahmad to focus on his growth. I found someone to take the studio once a week. Hiring the studio out on a Saturday as well just gave him a little bit more money. Step four was protecting Ahmad's future. I taught him skills to make sure that he had a few new ways to bring in work whenever he needs to. He knows how to go out and meet artists effectively and use content to bring even more people into his world. This way he has control and stability and knows how to avoid getting stuck in the future. I would say I have, I have a very good control of the flow of new clients. You know, I know what to do if there is a slow time in, in the workplace where, okay, maybe I could get some new clients in. I know I have a process for that. On the other side, I get more people to work with. So even my anxiety behind the whole business has decreased massively and I feel like I have much more control. Building a business is one thing. Building a moat around our business to protect it in the future is a whole nother skill. And finally, step five was the most important step which was setting realistic expectations to protect Ahmad's mindset while we were working together. This is why Ahmad came to Dark Label in the first place. I had other several meetings with like other business coaches before I found Dark Label. And just to be completely honest with you, they all had very big claims like, oh, you should be earning six times as more and everything. And I'm like, cool, it just sounds great what you're saying, but do you mind backing it up a little bit or who have you worked with? And it just felt like I didn't really trust anyone that I've talked to before. It felt like they were all kind of selling to me. So after spending close to five years stuck in a plateau, feeling overworked and underpaid, let's check in on Ahmad and see how things are going today. I'm in a completely different situation now where like, you know, I'm not trying to hype anything up. This is just the reality that I'm living. I'm my family has noticed, my friends have noticed. Basically, uh, we've managed, so in six months, we've managed to double my income um, and it's still raising, still rising. That was our initial goal together and we've smashed that. Um, I'm working like 60% less of the time now. He doubled his income while dramatically decreasing his work hours. More money, more time, 
you know, better projects as well. In general, just an in, in, like in, incredible improvement. If you're ready to make a similar transition, then links to contact us are below. And make sure you watch this next video to learn more about the approach that Ahmad is using with his clients.